purpose and power of thanksgiving. We are here very, very quickly to just appreciate God and give him the thanks. And we are going to look at the various things we want to thank God for. But here we have the purpose and power of thanksgiving. Why? And it's basically an understanding of why we thank God and what, what happens as we thank God. We give God thanks and give God appreciation. Psalm 103 and in verse 1 to 5. Psalm 103 and in verse 1 to 5. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? The Lord bless his word in Jesus' precious name. Thanksgiving is one of the most critical virtues of the Christian life. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 He said, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. <clears throat> Meaning that there is something to thank God for in the midst of everything. There is something to thank God for in the midst of everything. Every single thing under heaven. There is something to thank God for. <clears throat> and as we thank God, there is a purpose for it. And there is the power of it. What is the purpose of thanksgiving? Why do we thank God? Number one, to show that we can see what God is doing. To show that we can see what God is doing. To show that we are not blind. Because if you have not seen what God has done, you are never in the position to see what God will do. If you are blind to what God has already done, then you will continue to be blind to anything God will do. If you can't see what God has done, you are never permitted to see what God will do. To show that we can see what God is doing. Secondly, to show that we are not taking what God is doing for granted. The first thing is to show that we can see. In the midst of everything, we are still seeing what you are doing. To show, secondly, that we have not taken what God is doing for granted. Thirdly, to show that we are not forgetting what God is doing. We are not forgetting and in fact have not forgotten what God is doing or what God is doing. You know, one of the easiest things for people to do in this world is to forget. They just forget. You have helped some people in time past and they can't remember that you did anything for them. I've come across people. They can't remember. They just make you look like, are you sure? In fact, you will be shocked. There are those, 
you are you assist and you help and they meet you and they behave like they have never met you anywhere in the world to show that we are not forgetting what God is doing. Number four, to show that our strength, wisdom, ability, and resources, we are not responsible for what we have seen. When you give thanks, you are saying to show that our strength, wisdom, ability, and resources, or resources, we are not responsible for what we are seeing. That is, Lord, every good thing I see in my life, I can't attribute it now to my strength. It's not my power. It's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, say the Lord, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. That what I am seeing now in my life is not my strength, it's not my wisdom, it's not my ability, it's not my resources. I am not responsible. That was number four. Because it's possible to behave like your wisdom gave you the job or your strength is the reason why the infection didn't touch you. No. Number five, we give thanks to, conf to confirm our total dependence on the help and mercy of God for all things. To confirm our total dependence on the help and mercy of God for all things. That every single thing in my life has been by your mercy. Been by your help. To confirm our total dependence on the help and mercy of God for all things. If you say thank you to God, you are saying, I am helpless minus you. Thank you for doing this means I am helpless. I would have been helpless if you didn't do that. Number six, we give thanks to give the glory to the only one to whom all glory belongs. We give thanks to give the glory to the only one to whom all glory belongs. All the glory must be to the Lord. All he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. All the the glory to the only one to whom all glory belong and number seven to confirm our faith in the continuous intervention of God in our affairs to confirm our faith in the continuous intervention of God in our affairs 
when you give thanks liberally and profusely you are confirming that you believe that God will keep on doing it to confirm our faith in the continuous intervention of God in the affairs of our lives hallelujah isn't that wonderful we show that what we see what we can do we give thanks first to show that we can see what God is doing to show that we have not taken God for granted to show that we are not we are not forgetting what God is doing to show that our strength wisdom ability or resources we are not responsible for what we are seeing to show to confirm our total dependence on the help and mercy of God for all things to give the glory to God, to the only one to whom all glory belongs, to confirm our faith in the continuous intervention of God in our affairs. What is the power of thanksgiving? Number one is the confirmation of the continuous defeat and failure of the enemy in the affairs of our lives it is the confirmation and establishment of the continuous defeat and failure of the enemy in our lives affairs that is bless the Lord oh my soul thank him he forgives my Iniquities, he heals my diseases. He crowned me with loving kindness. He redeems my life from destruction. He healed me. He redeemed me. The devil notwithstanding. He saved me. He healed me. He is redeeming me. He is delivering me from destruction. The devil notwithstanding. I give you thanks, O oh Lord, to confirm the defeat of that devil. To confirm the failure of that devil on a continuous basis. That is the power of thanksgiving. It has the same power like testimony. Because thanksgiving is testimony that is addressed to God. They overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. That's the power. <laughs> So it's a warfare too. You are thanking God and you are warring. You are letting the kingdom of darkness know I am aware that you are defeated. I am aware that you are a failure. And what I am saying now is a confirmation of your further failure and defeat in my life. What is the power of thanksgiving number two? It is the irrigation of faith. Irrigation of faith. for continuous divine intervention and manifestation when you give God thanks when you talk about what he is doing you are charging your faith afresh you are watering your faith for more happenings before Goliath David said the God who delivered me from the lion and the bear I am confident he will deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. He was charging his faith by appreciating and recognizing what God did before. 1 Samuel chapter 17 from verse 34 all the way to verse 37. He was charging his faith. He was charging his faith. Thanksgiving is the irrigation, irrigation of your faith, your conviction. For divine interventions and manifestations. And thirdly, it is the activation of the next phase of divine intervention. When you give thanks for the phase you are, you activate the next phase of divine intervention. You activate it. You set the ball rolling. When the leper thanked him for cleansing 
In Luke chapter 17 from verse 11, the one single leper that returned back. Go on. He entered in the village and they met him, 10 men that were lepers. You read all the way to verse 17. You realize that one of them who was cleansed returned back. <clears throat> and as he returned back to say thank you, Jesus said to him, where are the nine? Where ten not cleansed? Only one returned to say thank you. You who returned to say thank you. I move to the next phase of the miracle. Behold. The activation of the next phase of divine intervention. Your thanksgiving of today qualifies you for your miracle of tomorrow. It qualifies you for the next thing he is to do. So, today, we have come to interrupt all the things we have been seeing. Thanksgiving. And if you are ready for that, wherever you are, be upstanding, hands lifted, and let's thank him. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Father, we give you the worship. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. Worship to your name. Thank you and thank you.